Pisces, welcome on in. Welcome to your special birthday message. I hope you're having a happy birthday. And if you haven't had your birthday yet, I hope you soon will. And uh, I hope you're loving Jupiter and Pisces. My Pisces daughter is just basking in it. Oh, really, really great energy. Fantastic energy, which should be giving you guys a lot of good luck and fortune. Um, I'm wanting some of that to rub off on all my Pisces placements. And I got a lot of them, but man, where is it? Well, we'll see. We'll see what these cards, what comes out for Pisces. And I'm really drawing just to get some uh, general advice over the next birth year for the Pisces. Okay. Uh, what spirit is the advice for Pisces in the next birth year? Ooh, grace and gratitude. Through gratitude, joy expands. Anything else? Honestly, I don't feel like this is advice of, you know, you need to be grateful for what you have. I think this is that... It's going to be bestowed upon you. That's what I'm getting out of this. Anything else? I, I feel like there's so much more. There's so much more. Tell me. Tell me, spirit. What else? What else? All right. We got that. Valiant courage. Take action with passion. And at the foundation, taking shelters, the answers are within. Okay. So I am going to expand upon this message. And if you want to hear my um, additional insight then stay tuned to the very end i am going to give you a real quick message first and then we'll get into breaking these cards down did you know that your birthday is a great time to treat yourself to a solar report what's a solar report some of you are asking well it's a year ahead astrological report showing what the next 12 months will likely bring for you based upon the time when the sun reaches the exact degree of your natal chart sun. What does it cover? Well, it covers all 12 areas of life represented by all 12 houses. Yes, that's relationships, romance, it's career and money, it's family and healing. And what you'll know from this report is your main focus for the year ahead where you're most and least supported in your efforts, where you're the most lucky, where you're the most challenged, right? Very important because some of you, you know, maybe you want to focus on your career, but actually the most support you're getting in the year ahead is with home and family. It's not that you can't be a success with that, but getting that information really helps to equip you with the challenges in the year ahead and take advantage of the good luck and fortune in the areas of life where you're getting it astrologically. Another thing that you'll know from this report is where the major changes are most likely to occur for you in the year ahead, where you can expect the unexpected, what is your blind spot, where are you most prone to deception and lack of clarity. This is very helpful so that if you're making very important decisions in life to make these major changes, you can kind of get a second set of lenses to say, you know, Probably in this area, I might not be seeing things exactly clearly or getting all the information. So I'm going to double check. I'm going to do my homework to really make for sure that I pivot optimally. Another thing that you can learn from this report is what are the main pain points in the year ahead that you're likely to occur because that's going to show where to focus your self-healing where to work on self-love, where you need to be gentle with yourself over the year ahead, very important for your spiritual growth. And also what's likely to make you angry over the next year, very important for doing damage control. You know, it comes up for all of us, but you know, when we are forewarned, we are forearmed. And I think all this information that you can get out of a solar report is going to really equip you to make the most of all the energies that are uniquely up ahead for you and you alone. So if you're interested in this 30 minute reading, I am offering it as a special for you know, my happy birthday to you. It's 30 minutes for $50. And who might be interested in this? Well, if you're having a birthday right now, if you've got a birthday coming up or you just had one or you're in the middle of your birthday season, absolutely would be a good time to take advantage and get a snapshot of what's coming up for you in the next solar year. And if you want to take advantage of that offer, then make sure to reach out to me at crownedones.weebly.com. I will have the link in the description box and the comments down below. All right. Thanks for watching to the end. Let me say before I you know, get into my messages about these cards. Uh, I'm 
gonna say I've got a different vibe off this reading than I've gotten off of the other ones. I've so far I've done the same type of reading for Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Aquarius. You know, when they have a birthday, I've been putting these out. Um, and usually when the cards come out, I feel like the cards are giving you advice, and that's what I'm asking for, you know. Um, but honestly, the, the vibe that I'm getting off these cards is a little bit different. It's kind of this um, ride the wave. This is what's in store for you. It's it's not really about, here's what you got to do to make things happen. It's like, here's what's going to happen. <laughs> and here's how you seize the moment. Here's how you really bask in it, okay? This is kind of the vibe I'm getting off of you. Like, right? This is not, I'm not reading this as, you need to be grateful. Um, this is, you know what? There's going to be a lot of good stuff coming in for you. And I really feel it has a lot to do with this um, energy of, Jupiter and Pisces, where you're going to have a lot of opportunity for expansion in your life. A lot of grace is going to be given to you. You're going to have a lot to be grateful for. And I don't really think it's advice telling you to be grateful. It's like, my gosh, seize the moment because it's coming in for you. And, you know, kind of along the same lines, this card about having courage, I don't really know that it's that you need to be told to be courageous. It's, it's kind of this message of you know, seize the moment because you got a lot of things opening up for you. It's not a time to hold back. It's a time to really step in all the energy that is supporting you, taking advantage of all this goodness that's opening up for you over the next year. This is about you tapping into your inner resources and living out of your truth, the truth of actually what's opening up for you at this time right now and just moving forward fearlessly, not... Uh, letting fear, maybe in the past, you, you didn't have this energetic support. But it's, you know, that's a different time and it's a different season. And you're not being held back by what did or did not happen for you in the past. You knowing it's a new day, it's a new way. And not being controlled by those fears from the past. And this desire to want to play it safe or be timid. This is about seizing the opportunities that are here for, me, here for you now. Um, not letting them pass by. And honoring who you are at your core, being alike for others. And, you know, like I said, some of you might hesitate or have fears because it's not always been this way for you, okay? But this is about you doing it afraid. Do it afraid if you have to. Facing any kind of anxieties that you have now or from the past and moving beyond the boundaries and the limited perceptions of yourself, and also, yeah, getting beyond any kind of self-imposed barrier so that you can live more passionately. At the foundation, I'm seeing this advice about the answers being within. It's I'm getting a very hermit card type of vibe of you pulling back, maybe withdrawing, retreating a bit um, to find that inner wisdom, that inner light, to hear that still small voice within yourself, right? Which you know you can do. Y'all are more tapped into the 5D than the other signs. At least you can be if you want to be, right? And this is about going within and getting plugged back into the spirit realm, but also rejuvenating yourself and not letting yourself be depleted by all this activity that's going on around you. I'm taking the time to care for yourself um, some of you, um, it's not just the internal spiritual work and emotional work that you need to do, but it's also about you taking care of your inner sanctuary, uh, of where you live, your home, maybe organizing things. For some of you, this is about relationships, healing relationships. And if there are forces outside of you that have not been empowering, not been encouraging, not extending the grace and the gratitude. This is about you withdrawing your energy from that type of thing. This is about you clearing clutter this year in your life, within yourself and around you, whether we're talking emotionally, relationally, materially, clearing the clutter. And some of you, there's something relevant about the springtime energy that we're coming into where uh, maybe spring cleaning is going to be relevant for you, where you handle these details in your life right now. Some of you really need to get into a quiet, still space so that you can hear what you need to be planning and preparing for, for the future, to have these new beginnings that for some of you are going to happen in the spring, 
definite new beginnings you are in the midst of right now. I'm seeing the snow right now. Do it while, do it in the month of March, month of March. But by April, new beginnings, new beginnings, new cycle. March, some of you really need to do this downtime to, you know, kind of let some ideas incubate, percolate, <laughs> you know, um, and gather up your inner resources to bring these things to pass for this next cycle and this next birth year. And yeah, if you need to do some healing of your body, your health, absolutely. Um, I'm also seeing that you guys need to watch out for those dreams because it could be that in your dream activity over the next year, that's providing you insight, that spirit giving you divine downloads about your future and how to plan and prepare for it. But in the meantime, I'm seeing in the month of March, repair whatever needs to be repaired in your life. Again, whether we're talking spiritually, emotionally, relationally, materially, take that downtime in March to do it because you're going to have to hit the ground running by April. you got a whole new cycle you're stepping into. A lot of doors opening up for you and go full steam ahead, you know, charge forth with it. I'm really seeing good stuff for you, Pisces. And I'm over here cheering you on with my Pisces stellium. Yay, Pisces. <laughs> All right, y'all have a happy birthday. I hope this blessed y'all. Till next time, y'all take care.